My name is David Troxell and I'm the co-author of the Best Friends Approach to Dementia Care. Behaviors do come with the territory when it comes to Alzheimer's care and being a caregiver. So a few just general suggestions. I, I think it's important if something happens for you to let the person know that that you're, you're doing your best, that you understand what is happening, that you're empathetic. And so if, if your mother says someone took her purse, uh, don't say now, mother, no one took your purse, the house is fine, you always think this. You want the person to feel like you are on their side. So you can say, mom, gosh, I'm so sorry. Goodness gracious, what, what's going on? Uh, let's take a look for that purse. And oh, here it is, it's under the pillow. Look at that silly purse, how did that happen? Have a light touch. You know, be be productive, be problem solving. If a person with dementia is having a hallucination, this happens with Lewy body dementia sometimes. Again, don't tell them it isn't true. Don't tell them it isn't happening. If, if they feel there's a orange cat in their bedroom, say, mom, oh my goodness, I, I, I wonder how that might've happened. Let, let's take a look and maybe again, uh, address their concerns. Let them know you're, you're, you share them, that you're there for them. And perhaps when you, you walk the house, say, mom, good news that that cat must have sneaked out again because I think all is well. I'm here for you. Uh, we will get through this day together and everything is looking up. These are the kinds of ways you begin to approach these behaviors with that sense of calm, uh, problem solving, and letting the person know that you believe their concerns are real and that you're doing your best.